Like the sands of time, our machine is constantly shifting. But will it provide a seismic win for anyone today? Let's find out on Tipping Point. Welcome to Tipping Point. Three players will be facing our machine. They're all hoping to win thousands today, so let's meet them. I'm Val, a sales assistant from the West Midlands. I'm James, a personal trainer from Liverpool. And I'm Sophie, an insurance officer from Swansea. Good luck to you all. Let's play Tipping Point. In round one, you each start with three counters. Questions are on the buzzer. If you buzz in and give me a correct answer, you'll have a choice to make. You can either choose to play one of your counters into the machine, or if you think the machine isn't quite ready, you can get one of your opponents to play one of theirs instead. Most of the counters you get out of the machine will have £50 to your score. That includes our mystery counters, which of course come with a bonus prize. But also nestled in the machine, we do have two double counters. If one of those falls for you, it will double the entire value of your drop and should one fall with a jackpot counter. At the end of the game, you'll be leaving £20,000 richer. All three of you will be going through to play in round two, but you'll want to bank as much money as you can throughout the game, so do keep an eye on those double counters because they could make all the difference. Everybody ready? Yeah. Hands on your buzzers. Here comes your first question. The sitcom that returned to TV for a three-episode series in 2020 featured Dawn French as the vicar of which... James? Dibley. Which fictional village? It is Dibley. Yes, James. Nicely done. Would you like to play or pass the first counter? I'll pass, please. Who are you going to pass to, Val or um, Sophie? I'll pass to Val, please. Val! Thank you very much. <laughs> Let's get things set off here, Val. Where would you like to go first? I'll try to drop zone one, Ben, because I can see that double hanging over the edge there, so... Yeah. Mystery counter looks good on the bottom shelf too, doesn't it? Far yes, drop zone one. Right then, Val. Let's see how generous the machine's feeling. Took a little bounce to roll yeah, pretty central. On. Could be a go nice on. spot if that goes flat. Yes, it yes. does, Val. What do you think? Yes, it looks good there. Go on. Can we get those few over the top shelf? Yep. There oh, we go. Yes, fantastic. Is the tipping point yeah. going to be generous? Oh. No, sadly not. <laughs> not quite. Never easy with the first counter, Val. No. Nothing from your first drop. Okay. Here's your next question. In 2021, which company began producing a strawberry and white chocolate version of the breakfast cereal, Cocoa Pops? Sophie. Kellogg's. It is Kellogg's, yes. Now then, Sophie, are you going to play? Yes, I'll go drop zone one, pick up with our left off. Let's do it. Drop zone one, please. <laughs> Settles on the right. Can we get that double forward? Maybe get it over the top shelf? Yes, we can. Ooh, good drop over the top. Is the bottom going to go? It is. It... Oh, wow, brilliant. Sophie, what a great drop. Nine across the tipping point. Great first counter for you, that Sophie. £450. Let's put it into your bank. Brilliant. And you've still got two left to play. Thanks. Here's your next question. The clay tennis courts used at Roland Garros during the French Open are commonly described as what primary colour? Sophie. Red? Yeah, they are. Do you want to play, Sophie? I'll pass to James. Just... Right, James. Let's get into the machine. Where do you want to go? I'll go number one as well with the mystery counter there. Job zone one, please. Down that left-hand side would be good. There's a double on the bottom shelf now as well. Yeah, nice. Left. Is the mystery going to go for you, James? Hopefully. Can we get enough here? Yep. Couple over the top. And then the tipping point ready. Yeah, there you go. Great first drop for you. Thank you. Three counters across the tipping point, which is £150. We can take that and put it into your bank. It gets you off the mark. And you've got your hands on a mystery prize, which is a 12-month technology gift box subscription, courtesy of the Gadget Discovery Club, oh, James. Nice. Thank you. Our pleasure. You've still got two counters left to play as well. Here's your next question. First published in 1927, the casebook of Sherlock Holmes is a collection of short stories by Arthur Conan who? Val. Doyle. Yes, it is Arthur Conan Doyle. Now then, Val, would you like to play? I'll go for drop zone four. Let's do four for Val, please. <laughs> mm, 
nice settle right behind yeah. that mystery. Can we get some over the top shelf for you, Bell? Oh, come on, now, machine. Come on, no. now, machine. Oh, <laughs> Bell, no. So your first counter went in, and we got stuck on the bottom shelf. That yeah. second counter goes in. You got stuck on the top, I'm afraid. So nothing from your second counter. You've still got one left to play. Thanks. Here's your next question. Which London street, famous for its political residence, is named after Sir George Downing? Val. Downing Street. Yeah, there you go. Right, you're gonna play Val? I think I'll pass to Sophie. Okay, Sophie, great chance for you here. Where do you want to go? I'll try four, please, Ben. Drop zone four, please. Val's worried the bottom shelf isn't ready, because the top shelf certainly is. It's a calculated move by Val. Is it gonna pay off? Hope so. Nope. <laughs> Anything coming out of the bottom? Oh, it was oh, a good no. pass, Val. Sadly, nothing for you, Sophie. You stay on £450 with one counter still to play. Here's your next question. What first name is shared by a horror film actor with the surname Price and a Dutch painter with the surname Van Gogh? James. Vincent. Vincent's right, James, yes. Right, you're going to play James? Drop song four, please. Let's have four. Lower drop. Took a lot of bounces, didn't yeah. it? Is that going to be flat, though? Oh, there you go. You could get a double shove here. It is flat. So the bottom shelf's working. Now the top shelf, hopefully, we can get something over in the corner. There! Oh, oh hard <laughs> luck, James! <laughs> Never mind. I thought you were going to get the benefit then. But sadly, <laughs> the machine had other ideas. So you're down to your last counter now. Yep. Here's your next question. Amelia Earhart is most commonly associated with which mode of flying transport? Sophie. Aeroplane. Yes, aeroplanes. You're going to play your last counter? Yes, I love it. Drop zone four, please, Ben. Drop zone four it is. Oh, hopefully down this left side now. Yeah, either way. Tipping point's so stacked. Oh. Rams itself down. James is nodding. He thinks it's good. <laughs> Looks really good now. Oh, come on. Good stack there. And it's a nice finish yeah. for you, Sophie. Four counters, so £200. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. That's going to leave you on £650. That's all three counters used, though. So for the time being, Sophie, you are out. So James and Val, you've both got one counter left to play each. So this next question is for you two. In the nursery rhyme, sing a song of sixpence. Four and twenty blackbirds were baked in which pastry dish? Val. Pie. They were baked in a pie, Val, yes. Right, would you like to play your last counter or would you like James to play his? I'll go for drop down three, please. Going for three? Yeah. Fire up three for Val, please. Top it drops on the right. Yeah, that's where we want it. Yeah. Coming towards that double. Get over. Oh. Oh, I'm not sure if that's far enough, is it? Two over the top shelf. Is the bottom going to work? We've had no joy yet. Oh, no. Val, still <laughs> no joy. <laughs> You have set up the tipping point. Unfortunately, that was your third and final counter. There's nothing in the bank. For the time being, you are out. Right, James, it's just you. Yep. You don't need to use your buzzer. Okay. You do need to give me the correct answer to this question to put that last count into the machine, OK? OK. Here we go, then, James. In the animated Disney film Big Hero 6, the fictional San Francisco is a blend of San Francisco and which Japanese city? Tokyo. It is, yes, well done. Right, no problems there, James. Can we get you some money? We need ten counters to try and catch soap. <laughs> Where are you going to go? Drops on four again, please. Back for four. Four, James, please. Just that one gap on the right. Keep it left, James, I think. Centre or left. Oh, what a finish. That was a heavy settle. <laughs> and then going over the top. Come on now. Oh, Whoa. James! <laughs> Would you believe it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wow, the machine has been very tricksy, not generous at all. So the score stays they were. Sophie is leading with £650. James has £150. Val has nothing in the bank just yet. So join us after the break to see which of today's three players will win through to our head-to-head -head and a shot at our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a bit. Welcome back to your Tipping Point, where Val, James and Sophie are battling it out for the right to play for today's jackpot. In this round, they'll each have 45 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Every correct answer will give them a counter to play into the machine. However, this time, 
The person with the lowest score at the end of the round will be leaving the game. So, Sophie, you are leading after round one, which means you get to choose. Would you like to play first? Would you like to ask James or Val to play? I think drop zone four is looking quite good, so I'm going to go first. All right, 45 seconds for you here then, Sophie. Every time you get a question right, I'll give you a counter. If you don't know, just say pass, OK? OK. 45 seconds for Sophie, please. Your time starts now. The FIFA World Rankings rate international teams in which ball sport? Football. Correct. The island of Tenerife is part of which European country? Spain. Correct. Discovered in 1851, Umbriol is a moon of which planet in our solar system? Mars. Uranus. The Graveyard Book and The Ocean at the End of the Lane are novels by which writer? J.K. Rowling. Neil Gaiman. The pencil and paper game known in the US as tic-tac-toe is more commonly known in the UK as noughts and what? Crosses. Correct. Cornichon is the French word for which small pickled cucumber? Pass. Gherkin. What surname is shared by the award-winning father and daughter fashion designers named John and Simone? Gautier. Russia. Brittany O'Grady plays a performer called Bess in which 2020 Apple TV Plus series? Oh, I don't know. Little Voice. Oh. It was called Little Voice. Three correct answers there, Sophie. Three counters to put into the machine. So three chances right, to try okay. and extend your lead. Where should we go? Drop some four, please. Let's hit four. Slams, Ooh. spins and settles eventually. Oh, thank gosh. And there's a couple over the top shelf. The tipping point is very heavy. Oh, yes. There you go, right amongst it. Brilliant. Six across the tipping point, £300 for your first drop. Nicely done. Two more to go in, Sophie. I'm going to stick with drop zone four, please, Ben. Four again. Another one on the left would be nice. Yes, hopefully. Oh, hard on the right. Tipping point's a bit sparse, that side, isn't yes. it? Yes. Might get something now. And then I'm going to go... No! Oh, no. He's pinned right across the tipping point, but they're not going anywhere just yet. One more to go in, Sophie. I'll stick with drops on four, please, Ben. Four again. Oh, no. No. Not quite what I wanted yeah, it. Yeah, that silver one's getting close to going. A little nudge on it would do it. There we go. Yeah. Oh. Could work nicely, better. though. Hopefully a good shove. It does work nicely. Brilliant. Well done. Six more for you there, Sophie. So another £300. 600 in total. Let's take that and put it into your bank, and that's going to leave you on £1,250. Well done. Right, James, you are ahead of Val, so it's your choice. You could play next if you think the machine's ready. Alternatively, you could ask Val to play. Yeah, go on, I'll play now, yeah. All right, 45 seconds for James, please. Your time starts now. The United Kingdom is made up of Wales, Northern Ireland, England and which other country? Scotland. Correct. Ben Affleck and Josh Hartnett played pilots in the 2001 film Pearl what? Harbour. Correct. Which green aromatic herb comes before julep in the name of a popular bourbon-based cocktail? Hush. Mint. Known as the Great, which Persian king won and then lost battles against the Greeks in 480 BC? Hush. Xerxes I. The term rep used to describe the action of one complete fitness exercise is short for which word? Repetition. Correct. Which US state has the two-letter postal abbreviation IL? Illinois. Correct. The Belgian land race is a breed of which domestic farm animal? Pig. Correct. Oh, Published well. in 2020. <laughs> well. uh, you dug a few answers out <laughs> from somewhere, James. <laughs> Great guesses or good answers. They both work. This one we ran out of time with. Published in 2020, Is This Anything? is a collection of material written by which US comedian and actor? Any ideas? No. Jerry Seinfeld. Five correct answers, though, James. Five counters to try and catch Sophie. Yep. She's got a decent lead, but let's see what we can do. Where do you want to start? I'll start in four, please. More action for drop zone four, please. I want it hard on the left. Take that stack out. And a nice stack right on the edge of the tipping point there, actually. This could be more lucrative than it looks. Yeah, nice. Yeah, well done. Very good. Thank you. Four counters, James. Nice start. £200. Four more to go in. Where now? I'll stick with four, please. Four again. Hard on the left, isn't it? There's those two counters that have been clinging to the top shelf for a while. Yeah, neither on the left. Ah! <laughs> Just rinse that Loads side. Yeah. Down the side, yeah. <laughs> Get one more silver one. Yep, another 50 pounds. Takes you up to 250 pounds. 
Three more to go in, James. Four again, please. Top seven, four again. There's the letter. It's gonna ride, isn't it? <laughs> Can we get it flat, though? Oh, it is flat. Just. Hopefully they'll Just. do it. Take those two. They've been there for such a long time. There you go. Waiting to go. Another one dangling now. Double's gonna get close. Oh! <laughs> After all that time and effort, <laughs> it's gonna stay there. Two more to go in, James. I think I'll stick with four. Four again. Hard on the left again. It's all on the left. Oh, it's not too mm. far away. Might take that black counter down. Oh, the black one survives, but that silver's gone. Mystery's gonna get close. Two sneak in for you there, James. Yeah. 100 pounds, up to 350 pounds. One more to go in, James. Got to go four again. <laughs> Why not? Fire up job zone four, please. Because oh, there's not much in there, unless it's on the left. That's it. I'm trying to go for that left. Got to go left. Oh, what do you think, James? Is that the one? Um, no, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Could be something, though. That might be better. You've got three over the top shelf. We need some lateral on this. Oh, you've got a couple to finish. Yeah. Four more across the tipping point, so another £200 for you, James. 550 in total. Let's take that and put it into your bank, and that's going to leave you on £700. Well done. Thank you. Right, Val, we come to you. 45 seconds for Val, please. The time starts now. The 1821 Theodore Jericho painting, the Epsom Derby, depicts which equine animals? Horses. Correct. The standard logo of the High Street Opticians chain, Specsavers, depicts white writing on a background of what secondary colour? Green. Correct. The official currency of which African country is the Rand? Pass. South Africa. Which Mexican spirit is mixed with blackcurrant liqueur, lime juice and ginger beer to make an El Diablo cocktail? Tequila. Correct. The British Museum is located in which UK capital city? London. Correct. Which British singer had a UK number one single in 2011 with someone like you? Adele. Correct. In the animated TV series The Simpsons, Chief Wiggum works for which of the emergency services? Police. Correct. Ignatius J. Riley is the lead character in which 19... Ignatius J. Riley is the lead character in which 1980 novel by John Kennedy Tall, did you know? No idea. A confederacy of dunces, which you certainly weren't, Val. <laughs> Six correct answers oh, wow. is brilliant. fantastic. And what was very special, you were shaking your head for every <laughs> answer and kept getting them right. I have no idea how I'm doing that was. <laughs> you did a brilliant job, well done. Thank you. Your challenge is to try and catch James. He's 14 counters ahead of you. There's right. a double there between drop zones three and four. There's yeah. a mystery on the edge of four. There's so many counters, it's been very... Very miserly, the machine up to now. Yeah, yeah. Is yeah. that going to change? Where should we start? Right, I think I'll go for number three. Yeah, drop zone three, let's do let's it. Start there. It's only been used once, there's loads there. Oh, other side, please, next time. <laughs> <laughs> Get that double out there. Okay, let's Go see on. what happens here, though. Is it flat? Shuffle the tipping yeah. point a bit, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Go on. Yeah. Oh. Top shelf's gone. Yeah. Is the bottom shelf ready? It is, yeah. Four counts to get Thank you going. You. Well done. 200 pounds. That's great. You on your way? Where next, Val? Uh, I'll stick with number three, please. Three again, please. <laughs> Thank you. That's the side I wanted. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Just emerging over the top yeah, shelf, but nothing more just yet. Where next? I'll stick with number three, please, Ben. Three again. That's right, that's where I wanted it. Is it going to be flat? Not sure. Is it going to be flat? Yes, please be flat. It is, yes. yes. Oh, now that could work nicely for yeah. you, Val. I'm communicating with here. the machine. <laughs> is the double going to go too? Go on. Yes, go on. Go on, please. It's going to get go close. On. It's going to get really close. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Five more sneak in. Another £250. You're creeping up on James. It takes you up to £450. Three more to go in, Val. It's got to be number three again. Drop zone three again. I'm determined to get that double out. Other side. It's not gone for the double, has it? You're going to leave it. Oh, no. well, it could work here. Come on. Can we get the double down? 
Oh, oh no, wow. but you're going to get close. Val, you needed five more to catch James. That's six more oh, across well, the tipping point. Fantastic. Well done. <laughs> 300 pounds takes you up to 750. Sadly, James, that means we're going to lose you at the end of this round. Yeah, no problem. Two more to go in, though, Val. Where should we go next? I shall stick with number three. I'll give it one more go to try and get that double. Let's I hit think, it. Fire yeah. up three. Ten counters to catch Sophie now. Five with the double. That's hard. On, that's on the I right. It, yeah. Is that the one go that on. brings it down? Is it going to play? No. No. It's just a bit I too far right, I think, yeah. isn't it? No! Oh, no yeah. There you go. Well done. What a hit. Six counters across the tipping point there, Val. That's 300 pounds. Fantastic. But one of them is the double, so we can give it another 300 pounds. Oh, wow. Well. What an impressive all this is becoming. £1,350, it puts you in the lead. You've got one more count to put in. I'll just go for number three again and just uh, finish off there. I yeah, think. let's just rinse it further. Yeah. All right, three. <laughs> Can we get any more? Slams down. Does, yeah. Drop. Very heavy. Top shelf going to go, I'm not sure. Oh. Yes, oh, it does. Oh. Could be a couple more to add. Yeah, yeah, two more. Well fantastic. done. Another hundred pounds. Thank you. Takes to one thousand four hundred and fifty pounds. Let me take that from the machine and put it into your bank. What a turnaround from last <laughs> to first. Val is now leading with one thousand four hundred fifty pounds. Sophie goes through with one thousand two hundred fifty. James, I'm afraid that means with seven hundred pounds, we have found your tip point. Of course, you have won your gadget subscription, James. Thanks so yeah. much for playing. No, thank you. Our pleasure. So it is Val and Sophie who'll be going head to head after the break for the right to play for our ten thousand pound jackpot. See you in a couple of minutes. Welcome back to Tipping Point. Just two players remain, Val and Sophie. Well done to both of you for getting Thank this you. far. We're about to find out which one of you is going to take on the machine for our jackpot. What a comeback, Val. <laughs> that was amazing. What were you it expecting was, yeah. starting that round? I had no idea. Them questions that I had, I just plucked them out of thin air and they happened to be right. Under pressure, <laughs> you got the right answers, you got enough counters, and now you are leading. You've taken some expert help about Tipping Point today, haven't you? Tell me who your secret weapon oh, is. Oh, gosh, your biggest fan, my mother. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. What's your mum's name? It's Letty. Letitia. Letitia. Yeah. So she's a big fan of tipping points. Oh, the biggest. And she's given you lots of tips and tactics for today. What's she been yeah. telling you? Well, first of all, it's stick to drop zone four. But <laughs> looking at it now, it looks a bit uh, empty. So I think, Mum, I'm going to have to change. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she's very proud of yes. that comeback, particularly in the last round, Val. Definitely. And if you keep going like this, you could be playing for our jackpot, which would be really special. Yeah, uh, Sophie, well done to you as well. Thank Great you. performance for you so far. Now, when you were little, is it true you met the Queen? I did, yes. Now, that must have been an extraordinary experience. Yes, it was nerve-wracking. How come that came about? She came to the local uh, comprehensive school and I was one of the primaries that fared it, so we got a couple of us got chosen to go and meet her. Wow, what was it like? It was surreal. <laughs> How old were you? 11. 11 years old. Yes. Can you still remember it now this day? Yes, I just remember a lot of security. <laughs> <laughs> These little ones, you've got to be careful around the Queen. Well, look, if you care on treating our machine with the respect that you treated her, then you could do well, because she likes a bit of that, and you're only £200 shy of Val, so there's every chance that you could close yes. that gap and you could be playing for our jackpot. So best Fingers of luck crossed. to both of you. In this round, you're each going to be asked three questions alternately. On your question, you can choose to answer, or you can pass it to your opponent. If you give me a correct answer, you put the counter into the machine. If you give me a wrong answer, your opponent puts the counter into the machine. Whoever has the most money at the end of this round will be today's winner, and we'll be playing for our jackpot. Val, you are leading, so you get to choose. Would you like the first question, or would you like to offer it to Sophie? I'll take the first question. Yeah. All right, here we go. First question for you. As part of an act called Dr Spin, Andrew Lloyd Webber had a 1992 hit single with the theme from which video game? You can play this or you can pass it, Sophie. I do like my video games, but... Mm, Sophie. <laughs> Are you going to pass it over, Val? I think I'll pass it, yeah. Yeah, so Val's <laughs> not wise, sure. Yeah. Sophie, how old were you in 92? Three. Excellent. <laughs> do you remember any video games from the when you were... I played was, like... Crash Bandicoot and Sonic and things. <laughs> I don't know if it's... I don't think he was in any <laughs> song any of that. Spin. What should I go? Uh, I'll just stick with Sonic. Sonic, you had to Sonic. give me something. Val, yes. any games from back then? No, not 92, no. Let's see if you're right, Sophie. Andrew Lloyd Webber was in the act, Dr Spin, they had a hit single. Was it something to do with Sonic? <laughs> no, it was Tetris. So. It was oh, Tetris. Yes. That sort of Russian that theme, one, isn't yeah. it, to the Tetris music? And it got to number six in the chart. <laughs> oh, wow. uh, good pass in the end, Val. Sophie was wrong, Thank so you, you get to put the count into the machine. 
I think I'll go for drop zone two. Drop zone two it is. Not been here yet, so yeah. there should be plenty and to play for. New drop zone. Yeah. Down on Get the right. Get some over there. Yeah. Yeah. And a so couple coming through here. Right there. Yeah, very yeah, nice. Great start. Yeah, thank you. Six across the tipping point. Let's give you three hundred pounds. Thank you. Let's take that and put it in your bank. And that's going to move you on to one thousand seven hundred fifty. Right, Sophie, we come to you. Time for your first question. The twenty twenty autobiography rerun the fun is by which nineteen nineties children's TV presenter? You can play or pass this. <laughs> I, do. I am going to have to pass it because I don't know it. So I'm Val, going... rerun the rerun fun. Rerun the fun. Sounds like something out of Tiz was, I think. Um, rerun the fun, uh, fun house. And we're looking for the children's TV presenter. Test Daily. Test Daily. We're going back to the 1990s. We need something. Sophie, you have any ideas? Noel Edmonds. Noel Edmonds. I Noel don't Edmonds. Know. Rerun the fun. Let's see if you're right. Is it Test Daily? <laughs> no, it was not. It's Pat Sharp. Pat, Pat Sharp, Sharp, who yes. presented Funhouse. It's a line from Funhouse. Oh, yeah. Hard luck, Rao. So if you get the counter, where yes. should we put it? Um, I'll go for drop zone two, please, Ben. Drop zone two, come on now. Hopefully give me something. Yeah, there's a double on the bottom shelf of one, of course, but that tipping point on two looks very strong. We need ten counters here, Sophie, so a good drop could do some damage to that. Hard on the, the right, right side. Yeah, there. not quite two where I wanted right. it. Not ready. Oh, nice boat. Something's come off. We need a bit of lateral here to take them through the middle. Oh. Three counter sneak in. Something. Yeah, it does. Chips away a touch. £150. <laughs> take that from the machine and put it into your bank. That puts you on £1,400. Val, we come back to you. Time for your second question. Who was the third US president of the 21st century? You can play or pass this. Oh, I know this. It's. Barack Obama. You're going with Barack Obama? Yeah. Sophie, what would you have said? George Bush, maybe. George Bush, maybe. I, I don't know it. OK, you weren't sure. Let's see. Val's gone with Barack Obama. If he was the third US president, you're George right. Obama. Is the answer Barack Obama? <laughs> yeah. Well, really? It was, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Bill Clinton <laughs> was the first. Of... He went out of office in 2001. Then George Bush came in. And then and Barack, Barack Obama. Obama. Well done. So you get to put the count into the machine. Where are you going to go? Yeah, I'll go for number two, please. Drop zone two. It's a good one. Nice position for yeah, the rest is. of the tipping point. The if the top shelf's going to go, yeah. it does. This could work as well. It is. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, three more. Thank you. Just as Sophie closes the gap, you open it up. £150. Let's take that from the machine. Put it into your bank vault. That's going to put you on £1,900. Right, Sophie, come back to you. Time for your second question. What word goes before graffiti, hustle and beauty to give the titles of three Oscar-nominated films? I'm going to play it okay. because I do think I know it. Right, great, OK. I'm going to say... I think it's American. American? Yes. Do you think that's the answer? Yeah, Val, you're nodding. Yeah, I think it's American. You'd have gone American too. American so we think American graffiti, American hustle, American beauty. The only one I don't know is graffiti, but I think the other two. The other two you think is American. Let's see if you're right. Is the answer American? Yeah, absolutely right. Well done, Sophie. Great answer that. Oof, now, you did that one. <laughs> you did. Let's get you some counters if we can. I'm going to stick to drop zone two, please, Ben. More for two, please. Hopefully down that left-hand side. Wrong not side. Not you quite. Wanted, <laughs> Maybe get something over the yeah. top. No. But no, not even that, unfortunately. Sophie, That's sadly. Not with me. OK, let's come back to Val. Time for your third question. In terms of area, what is the second largest country in South America? Again, you can pass this if you're not sure. Is Sophie good on their countries? Uh, <laughs> just give me that look. <laughs> I think I'll pass it. Right, Sophie. So Ooh. we're looking for the second largest country second in South largest. America. I'm trying to think. I'm going to go with Argentina. Argentina? Yeah. Okay. I don't, Val, I don't know. You weren't but... sure. Val, did you have any ideas? I have no idea. I'm not None. good at job. Right, <laughs> Sophie, let's see. It's a great time to steal if you're right. Is the answer Argentina? 
Oh, well he is done. Argentina. Well done. Lucky. Right, Sophie, let's put a counter into the machine. Drop zone two, please. Let's have two, please. Top shelf's very full now. We need some action over that at the bottom. Oh, yes. Nice little bit there. Yeah. Let them. No, we don't want that. We need some action here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, That's come not on. bad. Oh, a broader shove now. Oh! oh. No. <laughs> but that was a steal. <laughs> that was. <laughs> so they're set up nicely, Sophie. You keep control. Time for your third and final question. Which professional wrestler, popular in the 1980s, was known by the nickname the Eighth Wonder of the World? Oh, gosh. Um, you into wrestling? Not really. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to think it was big in the 80s. You can pass this to Val, of course. I don't know it for definite, so I'm going to pass to Val. <laughs> Val, you into wrestling? Uh, not wrestling, no. Probably more boxing than wrestling, but... Can you think of any wrestlers from the 80s? Only Big Daddy. That's the only wrestler I can think of. We used to Sounds watch him. like an eighth wonder. <laughs> <laughs> we used to sit and watch him with my mum and dad, so, yeah. He was a big fan on a Saturday afternoon of Big Daddy, so I'll say Big Daddy. We're going Big Daddy. Have you ever heard of Big Daddy before, Sophie? No. no. I was thinking more Hulk Hogan, I don't know. Hulk? Just... OK, Hulk, let's yeah. see. Val, if you're right, you steal this counter and you're playing for our jackpot. If you're wrong, Sophie, you've got one last crack at this and you've just set that up really yeah. nicely. <laughs> Is the answer Big Daddy? No, it was Andre the Giant. Andre oh, the never Giant. Never heard of him. A documentary about him, extraordinary guy. Okay. Shirley Crabtree, Big Daddy, one of my heroes as a kid yeah. like you, Val, growing up. Him and Giant Haystacks going yeah. out mm -hmm. on a Saturday afternoon. Sophie, you get the counter. Oh, gosh. Right. I'm going to go drop zone two and pray. Drop zone two, please. Right. What can we get here? We need something over the top shelf. We need a fair bit over the top shelf. Yeah, that's the right side. Will I think, that do yeah. it? I'm not yeah. sure there's a gap. Yeah. The silver and black one in the corner here. Oh, oh yeah, well done. Here's the tip of my going for you. Oh, oh well, well done. It's close, I don't think it's Sophie. enough. It's close. We needed ten to catch Val. It's six. Yeah. We've just come up short, I'm afraid. Oh, really good shame. effort. But three hundred pounds won't be enough. Let's take that and put it into your bank. And that means at the end of the round, we're one thousand nine hundred pounds. Val, very oh, well fantastic. done. You are today's winner. Congratulations <laughs> oh, to you. Thank you, Sophie. I'm so sorry. You battled really hard, especially yeah. in that last round. But I'm afraid with one thousand seven hundred pounds, we have found your tipping point. Thank you for playing, Sophie. Thank you for having me. It's been our pleasure. So, Val, you are our champion. In a few yes. moments, I'm going to ask oh. you to put this jackpot counter into the machine. It's bigger and better than all the others. If you get this one out, you're going to go home with £10,000. <gasps> Gosh, yes. <laughs> Can Val master the machine by finding its jackpot tipping point? We'll find out after the break. Welcome back to the final part of Tipping Point. Val is our winner today and has managed to get £1,900. Nicely done, Val. Thank you. It's been quite a turnaround, hasn't it, it has, from round yeah. one <laughs> to here, having seen off the other two, and now it's just you, the machine, and the chance to go home with our jackpots. Now, have you thought about what you might like to do with the money if we get it out? Well, I went to Malaga a couple of years ago and I fell in love with it and I just want to go back again. That so, would yeah. be fabulous, to go off on a lovely holiday. Yeah. And maybe something for Letitia, yes, your mum? definitely, yeah. Is Stick she the one that put you up for this? Because she's a big fan of the show. Well, I've just done it out of uh, fun, and when I told her, she got all excited then, <laughs> yeah. so, yeah. Well, look, she'll be thrilled to bits... She will be, ..with yeah. what you've managed to achieve so far. And if we can send you off with the jackpot yeah. and you go off on that lovely holiday, that'd be great, oh, gosh, so best yes. of luck. Time to find out whether Val's going to win our jackpot. In a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put the jackpot counter into the machine. If you want to go home with £10,000, yeah. you just need to get it out again. We do have a double still sitting on the bottom yeah. shelf of Drop Zone 1 there. If you can get the two to full together, it will be £20,000 that you'll be leaving with. Oh, God. Here's how you're going to do it. I'm going to show you six question categories. For each category, you can choose to play one, two or three counters into the machine. The more you play for, the harder the question's going to be. The more you win, the better your chances of getting the jackpot counter out. OK, so we need to release the precious chatbot counter, Val. What are you thinking? My mum did say number four, always go for number four, but looking at it, um, there ain't a lot there, so um, I think I'm going to go for number one. All then right. Number one. Fire up drop zone one. There's a lot in drop zone one. That doubles there as well, and yeah, you never know. Yeah. Rattled, didn't want it to settle. Yeah. So it's time to come down. Hopefully, it's going to be flat. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's riding. It's riding. Oh dear. 
We can still do it. We just need to surf it over that top shelf. Oh, okay. Hopefully, yeah. when it goes over the top, yeah. we get enough at it, it will settle and we'll get it into yeah. the window. Okay. Right, let's have a look at your categories, Val. This is what we've got. We have TV, sport, history, music, science and literature. You can play them in any order. So where do you want to start for how many counters? Uh, I'm quite a turkey and TV watcher, so I think I'll leave that one till last. Okay. <laughs> I'll start with literature, cos that's probably my worst for category. For how many? Um, I'll go for three. Literature for three, three, please. Which English author wrote the celebrated 19th century novel Persuasion? Jane Austen, Charlotte Bronte or George Eliot? Well, Jane Austen, she's quite a rom romantic, isn't she? So. Um, persuasion. Well, actually, that does sound uh, romantic, doesn't it? Charlotte Bronte. Um, I don't think it'll be George Eliot. Got to ask Charlotte Bronte. Bronte. Yeah. We're going to go with Charlotte Bronte, please. One of the sisters. Let's see if you're right. Persuasion. Was it written by Charlotte Bronte? Jane Austen. I thought, I thought of Jane Austen. You did, you talked did, yourself yeah, out of it, I, I think. Yeah. It was her last completed novel. Oh, OK. Oh, right, okay. let's go back to the categories. That's OK, it would have been a bonus. You said it was going to be tricky. Yeah. Where would you like to go next? Uh, I'll go for science. For how many? For three. Science for three. Which of the following is the name of an anticoagulant found in vampire bat saliva? Swantium nosferatate or Draculin? Uh, you know vampire any... bat Dracula. Yeah, does that ex actually exist? As it's a vampire, I'm going to go with Draculin. Draculin? <laughs> OK. We're going to light up Draculin, please. Yeah. An anticoagulant found in vampire bat saliva. Is it called Draculin? <laughs> yeah, oh, absolutely. Well. <laughs> they named it after Count Dracula. Oh, God. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? But it's it true. Does. <laughs> Drop zone one. Drop zone one, please. Light then. up, please. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's not right, bad. Yeah. No, I've don't ride. Hopefully it Stay won't, flat. and that could move us nicely, yeah. I think. Yeah, flat, nice. Yeah. Maybe it'll drag Fantastic. it left up towards the edge yeah, of the machine. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Nice yeah, bit of shovel, man. Yeah. Two more to go. One again? Oh, yeah. Drop down one, please. <laughs> one again, please. <laughs> Yeah, right there. I wonder if that's going to shift it's it too. Sticking with that. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Moving them nicely yeah, now. Yeah. Oh well. Five across the tipping point. Another two hundred fifty pounds. Takes you up to two thousand one hundred fifty pounds. One more to go in. Drop zone one again, please. Let's have drop zone yeah. one. Get it to the left again, shall we? Yeah. Hit that yeah. black counter. You can see where it wants to go now, yeah, can't you, Val? Yeah. I mean, no problems moving it. Yeah. Oh, on the right. Safe in a cross. Little nudge on it. Oh, yeah. That one silver counter's going to hang over the edge a bit longer. Yeah. That's a great start. Mm, thank you. The first one's into the machine. OK, let's go back to the categories. Where would you like to go next? I'll go for music. For how many? For three, please. Music for three. What is the title of US rapper 24K Golden's first UK number one single? Mood, feel or same? Never heard of 24 Golden. Yeah, 24K Golden. 24K Golden. They all sound quite like um, singles, to be fair. Uh, I'd go for Mood, I think. Mood? Whatever mood he was in at the time when he made <laughs> the single. Very good move if it goes number one. We're going to go with Mood, please. 24K Golden's first UK number one single. Was it called Mood? Yeah! Oh, well. <laughs> well done! <laughs> Inspired guessing coming in, Val. It, it, totally inspired. Right, <laughs> let's keep it going with the inspired drops. Drop someone. Drop down one, please, Ben. Add it up, please. Right, right, yeah. there, just there. Nice, yeah. very there nice. Is, yeah. You could go yes. over here. Oh, well. Separate, <laughs> and there you go, it's flat now. Yeah, it's Lovely flat. stuff. <laughs> Make it play up now. Five across the tipping point. It's going to be 250 pounds for those five. Takes up to 2,400 pounds. Two more to go in. Uh, drop zone one again, please. Drop zone ben. one it is, please. Oh, there we fair. go. That hopefully will fill that fill gap that there. Gap, yeah. yeah. Nicely done. Yeah. One more to go in. Number one, please. Drop zone one, please. Yeah. Ah, 
Yes, on the right. Might get a bit of movement on it. On the left. Okay. Where's that going to go? Is it going to so squeeze it, it here? Squeeze to it the through. right? Is it going to take it forward? Ooh, oh, well, hello. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, where did that come from? It right <laughs> forward. Look at that. That jackpot counter is really close, Val. If only put six in, amazing. Right, back to the categories. Um, I'll go for history. I'm terrible at history. History for how many? <laughs> for three, please, Ben. History for three. In what year did the American Civil War officially end? Oh, I think I know. 1776, 1865, or 1914? I have been studying, well, I call it studying of. Um, Flicking through, so bit of revision, um, a, a little, little bit of. I like it. <laughs> um, I think 1914 rings a bell. Um, 1776 now, um, and 18. I think it's 19. Well, I don't think it might be 1914. Should we go 1914? Yeah. We're going in 1914. 14. So we're looking for the year the American Civil War officially ended. Was it 1914? 1865. Oh, yeah, okay. 1914 was the start of World War One, wasn't that's, it? I, I knew it was, I, that's something in the back of my mind. I knew it from somewhere. 1914. Oh, that's why it rang a bell. Yeah. <laughs> okay, not to worry. We're still in really good shape because of where you've managed to get that jackpot counter. Sport is next, Val. Oh gosh, I've got a um, wrestling question. I'll have sport for three, <laughs> please. <laughs> no wrestling. Sport for three, please. After 116 years, which London football team played their last ever game at Griffin Park in July 2020? Leighton Orient, Brentford or Crystal Palace? Do you like your football? I don't. I, I, I like football. I know the teams, but where they play, that's a different story. Yeah, okay. There's that many to remember. Crystal Palace is still, still there. Brentford, I'd say Brentford. Maybe Brentford? Brentford, yeah. Leighton Orient. Um, oh, good, Brentford. Should we light it up? Yeah. We're going to go Brentford. with Brentford. <laughs> Bit of an educated guess, having ruled out Crystal Palace. Is the answer Crystal. Brentford? Yeah. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> they moved up the road to Brentford Community Stadium. Oh, wow. Well, a brand no new stadium. Oh, wow. Well. Griffin Park was very famous because it was the only football league club that had a pub on every corner of the stadium. Oh, OK. Oh, that was well. why it was a special <laughs> stadium to play. Right then, doesn't matter how you got it, you got the right answer. I did, yeah. Three counters. <laughs> drop zone one, Val. Yeah, drop zone one, please. Load it up, please. Yeah. It's not far away, Val. It's not, no. <laughs> it really isn't. That's oh, the right Val. side, yeah. It's Go gonna on. get really close. <laughs> it is, yeah. It is. Go flat, though, please. There we go. Oh, well, yeah. Fantastic. Now, where's this gonna go? Those extras gonna are going to fall yeah. in, and we'll be able to have a much better look well, at where the jackpot yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Wonder if they could pull it there, in. Could it? they pull it in? Could they pull it in, Val? Oh! <laughs> All counters go into the wind zone, Val. Two hundred pounds. Two thousand six hundred pounds. Have a look no, at that. Yeah. Two more to go in. I'll stick with number one, please. Ben. I think that's wise, Val. Yeah, Fire up so. one, please. <laughs> this is so close, Val. Oh. If that. The pouncer that. that's hanging over the edge goes down. It could be enough, Val. Take it with this, yes. <laughs> the, is this, it? Is this gonna do it? No. Is that counter gonna drop? No. Fill oh, that, fill that Val, gap no. for me. <laughs> Just lining up nicely. Yeah. Just building the tension. <laughs> one more to go. Um, I'll stick with number one, please. Same one. Yeah. Where's this going, oh. Val? There's only one gap behind it, isn't it? There Other is, than that. Yeah. Yeah. That could do it. No. That could do could it, it if it brings that whole could shelf it? over. Yeah. There. Oh, oh. oh Val. <laughs> is it going to go? Is it going to go? I can't go? be sure. No, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah! Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> I'm not totally sure, Val. <laughs> well done. <laughs> I'm, I'm just... I've never been lost for words. I'm completely lost for words. How did this happen? <laughs> Val, that is amazing. You've just won £10,000, Val. <laughs> Can you believe it? Not at all. How Not does it at feel? All. I'm just, my mum's going to be like dancing around the living room. She's got bad knees as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're thrilled. I'm sure she's very proud oh, of you. Well. Just goes to show a little bit of luck and a little bit of hard work because you've worked hard for those answers. And that jackpot counts is certainly smiling at you today. Well done, Val. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank Our you. Pleasure.
It was a slow start for Val, who went into round two very much the underdog with nothing in the bank. But winning 23 counters, including the double counter in round two, saw her fortunes turn on their head and Val didn't look back. Despite stumbling with the questions at the start of round four, she soon got back on her feet and claimed the jackpot counter for an amazing £10,000 win. I think you're still in shock, aren't you, Val? I'm totally in shock. I've never been lost for words before, but I am today. Look, well done, you. Well done for being brave enough to come and take oh, part, because yeah. I know you were nervous about doing that. It's shaking. It certainly was worth it, wasn't it? It's totally worth it, totally. Give your mum a big hug from me as oh, well. well. Oh, she will love that. Well done, Val. Well, thank you. So there you go, Val's leaving with £10,000. She's off for a lovely sunny holiday on the beach in Malaga and we couldn't be happier. What an amazing win for her. Join us next time when the fate of three more players will hang in the balance on Tipping Point. Goodbye.